Hey guys, Zach here, Small Town Bourbon. Tonight, I've got a pretty awesome blind I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to try to find my favorite single barrel, best of the single barrels. And this is not going to be the barrel proofs. I think I may do another one, like a single barrel, barrel proof video. But I'll show you our contenders tonight. We've got everybody's favorite, Blanton's. I put in Jack Daniels single barrel. I did the Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit and the Four Roses single barrel. I really like all of these. The most expensive being the Kentucky Spirit coming in at seventy, then Bland's at sixty-five dollars, Jack at sixty, and the Four Roses is going to be the cheapest coming in at I think it was fifty-five at maybe C store. So hopefully the Four Roses will win. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I enjoy all these. Get them out of the way here. All right. My beautiful wife, Jessica, blinded these for me tonight. So I don't know what's in each glass. She labeled them A through D. I'm going to start over here with A. Smells really good. A good bit of spice, a little floral, but a, a good bit of like clove and baking spice. But I like it. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah, it's spicy. Mm. A second sip is a little less spicy. It does just have a little touch of a sweetness on the front, but the middle is big baking spice. A pretty long finish. This is my first sip of the night, so I may come back to it and see if it's changed any. All right, let's see what B has. Mm, much sweeter. I'm getting brown sugar. There is still some baking spice in there. Some cinnamon, maybe. But brown sugar, cinnamon, it smells really good. Let's try it out. Mm. That's good. Yeah, a lot sweeter up front. It has kind of a a fruity sweetness to it, like a red apple. A little bit of spice in the middle. No, not not touching A. Nothing like A. And then a pretty long finish. I feel like it's a really well balanced, good sip. Let's move over here to C. This one's a little floral, too. It does have some cinnamon, some vanilla. Doesn't smell super sweet. But a pretty nice nose. Let's try it out. It's a lot sweeter than I expected from the nose. Yeah, very sugary sweetness on the front. Has a nice barrel note at the end. Not a super long finish. Maybe the shortest of three so far. But it tastes really good. Mm. 
All right. We'll see what D has. Really, cinnamon? Yeah, it really just smells like spice, cinnamon. When you really get into it, there's a little bit of a sweetness to the nose. But really just like baking spice is what I smell. Let's try it out. And that's really good too. Dang, this is going to be tough, guys. That one is very creamy. Does have some sugary sweetness on the front. A good bit of that spice you smell in the middle, and then a nice long finish. A little barrel char in the back. That's really a great sip. All right. <laughs> Let me see who I can start pulling out here. I really like all of these. That's why I picked these four, because I do enjoy them. I think I've got an idea of what order I'm going to go in. Just try a couple out. Now, I could have put so many more in here. I don't really love going over four in a blind. I just, I don't know. It's just hard for me to distinguish between that many. So I try to keep it at four. I do five sometimes. Yeah, I've probably got four more that I really enjoy. I could probably do this again with four different bottles. I'm between A and C on my first out. I think A is going to be my first out tonight. It has good flavor, but I feel like a lot of it was that spice. I feel like it's the least complex of the four. <laughs> but still really good. I do enjoy it. Let me double check. Mm. That's good. All right, C is going to be my third place. B, my second, and D, my first place. C is kind of the opposite of A. It, it's sweet, but I feel like it doesn't offer a lot more than that. It also isn't super complex. B... It's really good. B is kind of along the same lines as C. I just feel like it offered me a little bit more. And then D, I just feel like had the, the boldest flavors, the, the most sweetness, not the most spice, but it had sweetness with the spice.
Yeah, a good finish. I think D is just going to be it tonight. I feel like I should have wrote these down. But I'm going to forget. Maybe not. We'll see. All right, let's see who won. All right, so coming in at fourth place, not super surprising. It's going to be the Jack single barrel. I do really enjoy this one. I've had it a few times here lately. Coming in third place, we have C. Okay, the four roses. Oh, man. Then second place, Blanton's. First place, the wild turkey tonight. I did not expect that. <laughs> I know I've done these two by themselves together in a blind, and Blanton's won. But this is a different bottle of Blanton's from the last time I blinded them, so it may be that. <sighs> it makes me feel a little better about paying $70 for the wild turkey. It was pretty good tonight. I think, I don't know. I think the reason a lot of people don't like this one is because of the price. You know, they, they, it's the most expensive bottle here. It's one of the more expensive single barrels. And, you, you know, it's hard to charge more than Blanton's because everybody loves it so much. But I really like all four of these. There, There's not one I don't like. I'm very surprised that the Wild Turkey won, though. I will say it does, of the four, have the highest proof. It's 101, and then the Four Roses is 100 proof. Blanton's 93, and then Jack's 90, I believe. No, 94. So it did have the highest proof by a small margin, but I really enjoy all of these guys. I, um, I wouldn't sleep on any of these. That's all I've got for you tonight. Small Town Bourbon. See you next time.